Okay, so I'm laying it down. Lay the box down. Get a knife. Start to open this up. And anticipation. Thick. Okay, now I got the scope with the box. Uh, with the um, <clears throat> backpack. So I assume that they, ins they put it into the backpack. There's, there it is. Let's take a look at this. Okay, so this is what we're seeing in our box. Unistellar. It's got a nice little graphic of the EV scope. EV scope and plus backpack. take it out of this box. Let me go ahead. So this is what was in the shipping container. Let's go ahead and open these flaps up. Let's do this. this aside. It says prepare to be amazed. I like that. Okay, so we have a uh, Unistellar EV Scope technical guide. Prepare to be amazed. Looks pretty good. It's about uh, maybe 10 pages or so. Large format, safety instructions, uh, mirror alignment so you can collimate it. This is good. That's good. Contents, requirements. So a nice little instruction and on how to use it, especially the focus and collimation. There's the um, to adjust the uh, coma. Looks like or the um, Bathanoff mask is included in the cover. That was interesting. Shows where the screws are, etc. Some very good things. Mirror alignment, safety instructions, and maintenance. Some precautions, I'm sure. Looks good. Specifications Wi Fi is uh, 2.4 gigahertz. Some people need to know that. Uh, 15,000 milliamp hour battery, so nine hours of juice. Um, wi Fi range 50 meters in free space. Input output USB C and USB, uh, USB A as well for your smartphone recharge. So that looks good. Then we have a quick start guide. Quick start guide, hopefully you can see that. It has install, setting up the scope onto the tripod, connecting, downloading your app. I'm sure three is focus and alignment, automated alignment, explore using the app, uh, observing live, enhanced vision mode, and how to park or turn off your scope. Very nice. And some tips on the back. So we've got juice. So we have a little juice left. <coughs> ah, look at that. Very cool. First I'm gonna take the tripod. Oh, it's a nice hefty tripod. This is good. It is really a tough little baby there. That is nice. Uh, adjustable clamps. That's good. It's not wimpy. This is heavy duty. This is really well engineered. And accessories, maybe scope accessories. Let's see what this is. So we've got some accessories in here. Looks like. Um, uh, charger and let's see, we've got a charger, some 
Oh, adapters for power, power adapters, depending on what part of the world you're in. And some tools. Looks mainly Allen wrenches in a nice little pouch. Pretty cool. Okay, so let's get this out. <sighs> backpack is nice. It's a lot narrower than I thought it would be. Uh, it's pretty tall, but it's beautiful. Beautiful. Accessory pouch. Nice zipper. The zippers are good quality. A lot of the zippers you get nowadays are terrible. A uh, little pouch for various accessories, looks like. I'm not sure what this is for, but it has good straps, a vented and padded back, and a padded lumbar area, handle to carry it, and adjustable as well as a uh, waist strap and shoulder straps. This is really uh, well designed, I like it. Another accessory pouch. Zipper here, keep stuff in there. A key for your keys, I believe. Looks really nice. And a nice padded bottom with a um, looks like an extra tough material at the bottom. Okay, now let's go ahead and unzip this. There is the scope. It's got another little accessory pouch here on the inside of the flap. Nothing there. A little extra pad with Velcro. And release the scope. Oh, this is a pack. So let's release at least the scope here. Actually, we've got to take this out. And then take the scope. Inside the backpack, um, it looks like there's a pocket for an accessory, uh, the lens cap, uh, Velcro out here. It's got a nice uh, base to it and it's made for the scope. Overall, it's uh, pretty awesome. All right, so here's the accessory pouch. There's nothing in there. And here's the scope itself. It's heavy. It's really heavy. It feels very nice. The beautiful finish on it. Excellent fit and finish. No sharp edges. Um, very nice. And that tells me a lot about it. The way it's engineered and the product development that went into it. Plastic. Plastic cover. But that's nice. Very large um, diameter. Um, Here, very good. So we're going to now install this on, on the, to the tripod. Okay, I'm going to install it onto the tripod. So I'm going to loosen this attachment or a locking nuts here. And I haven't read the manual to be honest, but looking at that, oh, let's look at the bottom. At the bottom, we have our part number, serial number, a USB-C port, and a USB-A port. It's really beautifully made. Drop it in, and then lock. Let me start this way. Let's go ahead and lock it in. Doesn't look like there's any alignments on there. Here it is. I'm going to turn it a little bit so you can see it better. Right. 
That is gorgeous.